Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another Sunday video. Uh, firstly, I want to apologize for not having a video up yesterday. It was just a hectic day, so I didn't get a chance to do that. Um, and now the usual spiel. If you're new for the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like anything in this video. If you're a returning subscriber, make sure to drop a comment below and hit that like button. So for this video, I want to talk about two quick things. Um, so it's not going to be that much that long of a video. Um, the first one is about the fry that's on the screen. There's six of them in here. And these guys were born on the 11th of October. Uh, so that makes them... I don't even know what today's date is. Almost a week old? Half a week old? I don't even know. Um, but these guys are the cross experiment I'm making. So this is... These are not the females, but the female superior red mixed with this male in here of the Black Russian Dumbo Ear. Now, right from the start, I noticed these fry are actually different than most of the fry I usually have. Um, one, they're definitely growing much faster than fry usually do. So I don't know if that has anything to do with their mix. But they also have more color than most fry do when, I, when they're born. Um, like these guys, their dorsal fin is already black. Their tail has black coloring to it as well. It's harder to see on the screen. Just because it's still so small. We'll keep updating these guys as they grow. Um, we could definitely see they're pretty healthy. But they have different colorations. Like usually when fry are born, they don't look like this. At least in my opinion, they don't look as similar. It's really hard to see on the screen what I mean. So as they age, we'll keep watching them. I might do uh, maybe every two weeks. I'll do a little update video on them. But these are the new arrivals. Now I'm feeding them Hikari first bites. I'll do that for a week or two. And then I'll give them start feeding them some flake food. And I also have been dropping in um, the Hikari algae wafers. Just so that way they have a constant food supply. Uh, I think it helps them grow. That's what that this blob thing right there is, the remaining from yesterday. But there's a couple snails in there that help eat it out and some shrimp as well. So that's the first update. And now the second thing I want to mention is actually unfortunate, but I have to mention it anyway. So in here we have the blue diamonds. And this was actually a really good favorite in the channel. Um, first I gotta apologize also because the tank's a little messy. Like this one I actually cleaned up the front walls. I leave everything else because the sides because the fish eat off of it. But the front I cleaned off. This one I did not. Um, so right now in this tank we have the female blue diamond. And I just want to mention that I lost the male. Which is very strange. I've never had this happen to me before. Um, his eyes got really cloudy. They looked like they fungused over. And then his tail started falling apart. I tried treating him with uh, putting them in a separate tank, uh, increasing the water temperature to about 80 degrees. And then I started putting some salt, but very low amounts. And he was semi-active. I don't know, he is actually pretty active, to be honest. Except his fins just started falling off, and then one day he was, he was dead. But this female is pregnant by him. That's why I have the net right there on the bottom. Um, so that way when she gives birth to fry, they fall in there. I'm not expecting a lot of fry because she's not large. She's still a relatively young female, but she definitely is pregnant. So I'll keep you guys updated as well on those fry when they're born. All right, so I'll focus back on these guys. But these, very excited about these fry. Um, again, they're the cross between the superior red female and a black uh, Russian double ear male. And definitely pregnant by him, since these guys are not albino. And the only other male she was with was the Superior Red. That's not even true, actually. She was not in that tank, but she did have... There was a young male in there when I first separated them that I didn't notice. But there was no way he got to her because if they did, we would have some albino fry. And we did not. Um, there's six in here. The female is actually now in the bottom tank over here. To just breed with this pretty cool looking male. So that's what we got, guys. Um, so this is a so uh, short video. So if you stuck to the end of this very short video, um, 
drop a comment below, hit the like button, and if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe for more Guppy updates, uh, Guppy information, all that kind of stuff. Alright guys, have a good one.